Hi, that's Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I have a couple of uh, sparkling wines here. They're pink sparkling wines and they're English pink sparkling wines. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying them. Um, and uh, I, so I might as well just set into them. No, no point waffling. And, uh, Method Champenoise, blah, blah, blah. Are they both all Pinot Noir? First one is certainly all Pinot Noir. Second one, oh no, the second one's got Pinot Noir with Chardonnay and Pinot Meunier. Anyway, the first one, uh, Camel Valley. Gold medal winner at the International Wine Challenge, apparently. Um, uh, 2013, Pinot Noir Brut, all the way from Cornwall. Let us give it a whirl. Brisk, toasty vanilla. Uh, I don't know if there's any bits of this cuvee that's been in a barrel, but um, there is a very fragrant, uh, it's what I call strawberry mivy. Uh, lolly. Uh, don't you, I don't know if you remember them. Vanilla, good vanilla ice cream uh, with strawberry ice lolly on the outside. And I get that character coming through really strongly. There's a slightly, sorry, you said dribbling. I'm, I'm looking forward to tasting it. Oh, a, a good cheesy element, if that makes sense. Um, and uh, yeah, it smells, it, 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 there's something of the barnyard about it. Good, rich, juicy, fleshy, um, they don't make Crestor anymore. Crestor, do you remember it's Frothy Man? If you're over a certain age, you will, with a, with a cool bear with glasses on. Google it, that's probably, oh, there'll be, there'll be probably a YouTube video of Crestor. Um, I, gold medal, not sure about gold medal. I'd certainly put it in silver medal territory. I like its richness, its depth of flavor. Maybe if there's something I miss, it's a little bit of uh, Elan, poison elegance. What it does have though, is lots of lovely, come hither flavour, so um, I might come hither with it later, but uh, maybe uh, this one will oust it from uh, uh, my affections. This one is Whiston Estate, South Downs Rosé and uh, the blend 57 Pinot Noir, 33 Chardonnay, 10% Pinot Meunier, uh, and uh, the vintage here is two years old, it's 2011. So not as deep a colour, and also when I come to uh, smell it, it's not as exuberant and jump out of the glass and go hello as the uh, Camel Valley one. The two years extra age have uh, given it a little bit more subtlety. Uh, there's still the strawberry, a little bit, little bit of the raspberry there, but it's, it feels more, um, it feels like it's grown up a little bit. Oh, it's glorious. Um, it's got the depth of flavour that you have there, but with extra layers of subtlety. So there's this there's the, um, there's almost like a floral edge to these um, uh, red berry flavours. Uh, there's a little bit of yeasty, toasty complexity there. And great length. There's a grip on the finish that uh, keeps your mouth fresh, keeps your mouth wanting more. And um, if, they, well, I'd, I'd put that in gold medal territory. I'd put the uh, Camel Valley in silver medal territory, but they're both extremely good adverts for English sparkling wine. Um, and um, so go out and uh, next time you have a something occasion that calls for high class sparkling wine, forget champagne, drink these instead. See you soon.